Hello there, Erunar here, and today we will talk about chariots, what makes them very strong, very powerful, and how to protect from them. So, let's have a look. Um, in multiplayer battles you can bring up to three heavy chariots, and I will show you why this is too much why you should bring less and in in campaigns you can abuse the little details that I'm going to show you and describe use such details in your campaign for ultimate victory so we have armored spearmen heavy heavy guys with bonus against chariots they are they're having a lot of armor HP there, solid. So they should be able to hold perfectly against uh, chariots. Usually behind them you will put some uh, missiles. And I, for the demonstration I just have shielded clubman, bodyguard with hero. Or any medium unit you can have. And the goal of the chariot is to go through this... Uh, heavy spear go directly after back line. So, a first important detail of the chariot is they do not have unit model collision. These guys can touch or overlap each other without the problem, and uh, they together they are stronger. To together these models with spear, they can strike and deal damage. Now let's watch what is going to happen with these spearmen. Uh, in one v one scenario, it should be fine. Spear, one dude is kicking the horse. Very funny. Charge is happening very slowly and nicely. And now. The enemy, the chariots are trying to reach this medium unit. And if you can watch this carefully, we have a lot of horses stuck together. A lot of our armored guys are on the ground or being knocked down. And uh, chariot models are getting through. If we have a look on the HP, we have around 7600 right now. Okay. And in very short time, you can see the chariots are pushing our heavy models and they are getting through. So, and just a couple of seconds, and your heavy spearman has lost. 3000, 4000 HP already and keep it keeps losing. You have you have heavy front line and three chariots made a very big gap already in couple of seconds. And it is also not just because of the how models are overlapping and knocking. It is also because the spears are doing damage. And one more detail, which you should be looking for, is the charging. The charging bonus is repeated. Uh, when you have chariots in Troy, you right click on enemy unit, you are going to have a charge bonus. And to reactivate this charge bonus, you just have to click uh, on different unit or click ground and then click to attack such unit. So all this time, all these chariot models are having 55 charge bonus active. Their melee attack is uh, around 90, 93 and their damage is boosted by 55. And you have to activate and activate their charge bonus. It is so strong that you can not just uh, deal 
make a gap in enemy front line. You can continue charging one unit and then charge this other unit and as you can see here they are going to charge again the, on the unit on the right and deal plethora of damage. Just with chariots you are able to push enemies, deal damage, knock them and have a lot of charge bonus all active. So chariots are very strong when used like a blob and that's why in multiplayer battles we allow only one chariot in the battlefield. That's the most fair outcome. In campaigns you can have as many as you want. That doesn't matter. So, I hope this was useful to you and see you later.